Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me again today for Interviews, where we meet the people behind the businesses in South Africa. And today I'm very excited to be speaking to Emil Fenter. Emil, please will you tell everybody a little bit about your business and why you started it? Hello everyone, um, my name is Emil Fenter. Um, I, I started a business uh, probably about March April time this year, and uh, basically the, the the name of my business is Realm International, and the the core part of our business is procurement. So we we did get a little bit uh, caught up. I say caught up because it, it's obviously all over the news and that in this PPE space, um, but yeah we we really kind of focused on on sanitizer and and not really get into the masks and gloves and and everything else that our wonderful government was getting involved into and yeah but from that we've sort of now branched out into to agriculture uh retail and mining where you know we can literally source anything for for our customers working in those 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 sort of spaces so 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 as an example um you know we you know what i think has become a big commodity is honey for example so we we in the process of sourcing honey um for for a couple of our customers and yeah you know, the volumes are quite it's it's from 50 liters a month to 100 liters a month of pure honey so we essentially, for want of a better word, a middleman, where we will introduce the supplier and the buyer together to to secure what whatever it is that may be looking for. Um, we we do branch out quite a bit in sort of different areas. So so on the retail side, we we very involved in um, the the distribution of uh, premium um, alcohol, so gin and and vodka. Um, both for local and uh, export markets. I mean, it's been quite a tough space to play in with the whole lockdown, et cetera, but we're starting to get a little bit of traction again. Um, I think what's happened, you know, people have become quite um, cash tight. So, you know, buying the premium brands, you know, I think during lockdown, they were probably overpaying for cheap, what's normally considered cheap. Uh, spirits mm -hmm. and you know now that it's out of lockdown and back to normal prices I think people are sort of quite happy to buy three bottles of gin as opposed to the price of a premium bill mm -hmm. um, as an equivalent um, yeah and, I mean we we hopefully very close to signing a deal with with clicks or the clicks group for a, a, a product called silver nano so silver nano is based on nanotechnology, which is a, essentially a disinfectant, but it can be used across any any sort of product. So whether it be um, hand wash, uh, shaving gels, air fresheners, and you know, so it's quite a quite a diverse product that can be used against uh, be used with many other products. I mean, in the retail sector, you're probably see it's in the same space as Harpic, Handy Andy, and all of those um, sort of um, shelf spaces. Mm. But it's one, it's a lot cheaper, it's a lot more effective because it's it's got, it's non-toxic, non-alcohol. I think we, you know, with all the hand sanitizer that we're having to put on our hands on a daily basis, it's, it's doing a lot of damage to people's skins and that. So, you know, we've managed to, to eventually get a, um, a nice brand out of this and looks like we'll get a listing you know they've sent us a contract with clicks for a 12-month contract and we've developed 33 products for them you know to use for their their private label mm -hmm. so that's we hoping will be in store in clicks around january time because it, it does take some time because we've got to import a lot of stuff from china um you know, unfortunately, the and and I know we all talk about China and we want to stay away from that space, but as a price comparison, it's just chalk and cheese, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. So, so yeah, we 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 
yeah, we, we, we literally can source anything. Um, and, and we, we, we try and sort of work in those main areas of agriculture, mining and retail. Mm. Um, because, you know, we, we, we could diversify to a million different sort of industries, but then I, I think we'll be, you know, we won't be properly focused on a um, specific niche as, mm. as such. So, um, I think the big exciting market for us is the, the, the export markets. Um, although there are some challenges with, with COVID still pretty rough, especially in, in Europe at the moment. Um, so, so, so getting stuff across cross border is quite a challenge, but I think we have to take a long term view and we, we, you know, looking at probably the end of Q1 next year where we can, we can sort of get traction. But if we can get all, all our planning in place now, then uh, we'll be in a good space to, um, to, to, to hit the road running next year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we we've yeah we've kind of dabbled in some some different things. Like some people ask us for like things like bottles, you know, empty bottles. You know, one of our big clients is Avonic. They they're doing a big community project um, down in, in KZN down the south coast, and yeah, they buy thousands and thousands of bottles from us on a mm-hmm. on a monthly basis. Um, you know, they 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 kind of went a bit of a long road with buying sanitizer but they they signed themselves into a contract and and they just never had the bottle so they, they approached us and so we 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 managing um that, that that business quite nicely and um yeah we we always looking at sort of opportunities but you know for us the big thing is is to to not spread ourselves too thin mm. and to you know, we're very customer f- uh, focused in terms of service, and and you know, we w- we will manage the whole process from order to 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 delivery to the front door, mm. so that you know we can take that sort of admin and, and pressure away from the, uh, the the actual end end user or end customer. Mm. Mm. Um, so, so that's so kind of really what we do in a nutshell. Okay. So, so anybody who's looking for a lot of anything for their business yeah. should come to you. Yeah. Th- that they're struggling yeah, to find. Yeah, so we, we, we do try and do volume of, mm. of, of products. Um, you know, you know, one of the spaces we've got ourselves into now is Moringa, which is you know we we've now got in, you know, we just signed or sort of contracted with a farmer. And then someone is going to process for us as well, mm-hmm. um, because we we again, you know, one of the trickiest parts in the agri- agriculture space, it's almost quite easy finding what the customer needs, but you actually need that offtake agreement because if there's no offtake agreement. You actually at quite high risk because you know, and especially for the farmers, you know, they they talk to us to try and find them those offtake agreements so that they know that they. Their, their harvest, their, their, their whatever is going to to a, to an end customer on a regular basis, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, we've got those offtake agreements now with Moringa and and Honey, which is what we sort of currently working on at the moment. Mm-hmm. What's really nice, quite nice about Moringa is it, it harvests harvests. You can harvest it uh, ten times a year because it's it's like a weed. It grows crazy um and um yeah it's 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 actually a very kind of it's and it's very good for you there's a lot of uh, health benefits mm. and um but what's quite nice with that deal is we literally got one customer and one supplier so it's quite an easy thing to manage mm. um but not to say that you know we're happy dealing with you know one one or two or many customers that may need many different things mm. You know, mm-hmm. Some of our mining customers are are always looking for, you know, like currently they're looking for like a so for their breakfasts, for example, they felt that the guys are not eating a proper breakfast. So so um, so Future Life, so it's a similar product to Future Life, a little bit cheaper. It's almost like a little pack, so it's water and the powder together. So the, so the miner, it's very convenient. They literally break a seal it mixes and then they 
you almost drink it like you're drinking a like a liquid out of a liquid fruits container basically mm. Mm. and then you know from so from the mining company you know these their guys are all getting a, a bit of a decent decent breakfast in the mornings and it's mm. got it's packed with all the vitamins and minerals and and everything that you can possibly need and, and think of but yeah we yeah essentially we will we will find anything and everything um that that our customers need basically so so that's that's our kind of real speciality and we will manage that whole process you know from end to end you know so um so to try and take the the kind of stress and admin away from the customer so give them peace of mind as well mm. Mm. I know within my business, I spent many, 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 many hours trying to source things. Uh, yeah. So I can see how, especially for bigger businesses, your service would be invaluable. Yeah, and I think I know, you know, some people ask why go to an outsourced op option, but I think because some companies, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's more cost effective um, than potentially employing someone um, because it's also companies don't always need whatever all year round and they only need a specific time of the, of the year mm. so, so I think it's a nice service to 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 bolt on to to any big company and, and almost their sort of procurement departments you know um, but without you know without any of the kind of you know staff headache or or um, any other worries that, that that come with it, basically. Mm. So, mm. so, so yes, yeah, so we we are essentially like an out, outsource function that mm. um, that I think you know we, we we can provide a good service as well for our our, our customers. Yeah. Mm. And do you think I know I know a lot of big companies have done a lot of retrenching during COVID nineteen. Uh, do you think yeah. more big companies are going to move towards outsourced services rather than employing people again? Yeah, I think I think people have had the opportunity to really look at their businesses during mm. during COVID, and especially during during lockdown. Um, you know, we were in Joburg recently, and the and the big thing for me was looking at all those sort of office space mm. and how vacant they were. And I think people have moved to working from home and, and obviously realizing they can do it. Um, I mean, I know of, uh, as an example, from a big corporate like Standard Bank have, have, have gone into these um, um, smaller office sort of month-to-month -month, um, options, you know, some of their, their um, staff. Um, because I think they're realizing that, you know, they don't necessarily need such big space. And I think, you know, technology is so good these days that you can, you know, you, you literally don't have to leave your home, mm. you know, to, to, to get a job done. You, you mm. can, and you probably don't need the, the, the actual staff. Um, mm. You know, sad as that is, because our unemployment is a real problem in this country, but I think people, you know, have to look at their businesses and, and look at, it's you know we, we we have to look at a lot of cost savings now as well so i think anything that can be outsourced where it's it's you know it's it's a need that they that they it's a product that they need so they're gonna have to pay for it but at least they're not having to pay someone to find it for them mm. and yes maybe our markup is a little bit sort of higher but at least the, the whole service has been managed for them Mm. So, so, so they 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 they're getting their their bang for their bank, mm. back in my in my mind, you know, mm. um, and yeah, they can just pick up the phone any time and know that you know we will get onto it, and and because it's our core business, so it's our focus, you know, we're not um, as, as 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 soon as they kind of give us a um, the, the go ahead to source something, then we 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 on it straight away, and then mm. you know, we'll come up with all the all the different options. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think outsourcing is is going to play a big part, which creates opportunity for for businesses like like ourselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, um, because I know you and I've had some yeah. conversations with you before, I am aware that you're a serial entrepreneur. This is not your first business. 
No. So, so can you tell me a little bit more about that experience of having had a business before and now restarting a new one? Because I think this will be useful information for others who are watching who possibly had a business before that failed or that they sold or something like that and are thinking of going into business for themselves again. Yeah, yeah so, so I, I come from a hospitality background, um, having opened uh, one, two, three, uh, four, four restaurants that I've, that I've had. Mm. You know, all of them are still, well, sorry, three of them are all still standing today and still doing pretty well. Mm. Um, so I've sold out of those businesses. Um, I, I think one of the biggest lessons for me, and it's always been a goal for me, is to start a business with no money. Mm. And with the restaurants, it's impossible because you need that. You, you know, you need to buy equipment. You need to pay deposits on bricks and mortar space. Um, you know, you got to buy stock, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, so, so with this this idea of procurement, you know, there is literally no startup costs. Mm. You know, uh, you know, other than your, you know, we 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 work from home. I do have a business partner who's based down in Durban, and I'm based in Hilton. Mm. But you know, our only costs really are our email addresses and our monthly hosting space. Um, you know, we haven't we haven't built a website as yet. Mm. Um, we, we we've we've got a Facebook. Um, sites and, and, and Instagram um, so so for me those seem to be the sort of spaces to operate in and I've always wanted to get into a business where I actually don't have to put any money down just because then you're starting almost on the front foot you're not, not starting in the red mm. and um, there's obviously a lot less risk in, mm. involved when, you, when you're not having to put money down mm. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, um, you know, I don't regret any of that being in restaurants and that. So, I mean, you, you know, we, 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 did, we did pretty well, um, made some mistakes along the way, as we always do in, in, in business. But, yeah, I've had some good successes. And, and, yeah, I think it's also helped me with getting into the space that I am now. Mm. Um, you know, I think you know we 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 always talk about side hustles and 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 you, you're trying to do too many things and I guess we we still I, I'm still in that space because there's a few other things I do on the side but but with the sort of primary focus being on our procurement business mm. um, and yeah I think it's one thing that's actually a weakness of mine is to to try and stay focused on one thing because I, I think you'll get a better result at the end of the day. Um, mm. I think maybe I suffer from a bit of ADHD, so so it's so it's kind of, but I, I have many interests. That's my problem. So, so mm. Um, mm. I was about to, to say, and, it's probably yeah. saving you from boredom. Exactly. Yeah. So you want to try, <laughs> you want to try something. You know, they always say create a business out of your hobby or your passion. So mm. so that's what I try and do on the side. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, am, I, I do do enjoy our procurement business because it's it's sort of created a quite a nice network of new people and mm -hmm. and new sort of industries for us to look at. I mean, I I, I know nothing about agriculture or or mining so mm -hmm. much. I, I do have quite a bit of knowledge in retail and and yeah, the the agriculture space and the mining space. I've learned so much in the last sort of six months. It's been incredible. Mm -hmm. It seems yeah. to be a, a prevailing theme with the entrepreneurs that I speak to in these interviews is that we're all very hungry to keep learning. Yes. And learning about Yeah, anything. and I think that's, it's, it's important. You know, you, you always see these little quotes from these successful guys on, on LinkedIn and Facebook and that, and they, you know, they talk about <clears throat> don't make excuses, you know, and, and you know, like, Things like simple things like um, people will say, I don't have time. It's like, well, you know, how much TV are you watching in a day? Mm -hmm. Well, well, there's your time. You know, stop wasting time watching TV and make the time to 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 build your business, make more money, whatever it, whatever it may be. Right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm 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 overweight. So so what you know. The, so is that an excuse or are you going to do something about it? You know, mm. it's, it's just because the gyms are closed doesn't mean that we, 
can't do exercise. So, so and I think we're very quick to to make excuses when we when we're in a kind of sort of difficult situation, and and try and sometimes look to blame. And and I think the mindset has to change. And 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 yeah, we we can learn every day. I mean, I'm I, I've been a great salesperson, and I'm reading a couple of books at the moment about selling and just to try and understand it a bit better. I mean, I did a course earlier in the year on selling, and and I'm trying to read a bit bit more about it. You know, um, just so I can try and understand the process. And and maybe sometimes it's something you either have or you don't. But I still think it's something you can learn. You know, mm-hmm. there, there are different there are different strategies of 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 getting a sale done. You know? mm-hmm. And it's 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 incredible how everyone says you've got to keep following up, and it's incredible how important that is to follow up. Mm-hmm. Um, because people are not sort of getting back to you doesn't mean that they don't want the product, but you've got to do it yourself and follow up. And I think that's that's one of the critical things is just follow up and building those relationships. So. Mm. Absolutely. I'm also a great believer that just showing up will get you far in business. I know I know. I speak yeah. to a lot of people and then they just don't show up for meetings yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's incredible how that happens and, and, and being on time as well. You know, mm. I think we um, live in a world where we've got so many distractions so it's quite easy to get distracted and forget about a meeting or turn up late to a meeting and but yeah i i think it's important to show up and 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 show up every day you know uh, you know and and i always believe in keep going just don't give up you know you've got to you know you, you just got to keep going keep pushing um keep believing in yourself Mm. And and it will happen. It will happen. You know. You know. They always talk about you know what you put in is what you get out. Get out. And I, I firmly believe that. You know. If you mm. if you really put in and you work hard, I think the results will come. You mm. know? So so I I really really believe that. Absolutely. Are you excited to be back in business again for yourself? Yeah, I am. It's always. I think. Um, it's it's always. Yeah, it's always much better working for yourself, you know, working, you know, I think you always work a lot harder working for yourself, um, especially when you're trying to do a, a lot of, a lot of different things. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot more re- re- rewarding and there's no limits. And, and that's the best thing for me with working for yourself. There are no limits and, and mm. really up to you to, to kind of, to, to really kind of push hard and, and achieve goals and, and, and all the success that you, you hope to, 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 to get basically. Mm. So, mm. but yeah, I, I love working for myself. I love working from home um, because it's just, just easier and simpler. Um, you know, I was commuting quite a bit earlier in the year and which, which I, I, I don't have to do anymore, which is great. You know, you know, in this little bubble of Hilton that we live, everything's so close. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I love every minute of it. Eh? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's wonderful to hear an entrepreneur who's, who's really enjoying the space they're in. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your story. So, no Emil, if, Thank you. if anybody would like to get hold of you, um, if they're looking for something, if they need help with their procurement, where can they reach you? So we we on um, Facebook, um, which is our business is called Realm R E L M International. So you'll find us on Facebook. Um, my number is zero seven eight two zero two seven six four seven, or my email address is is ml at realm r e l m dash international dot com. So, so those are the the sort of best uh, places to get to get hold of me. And um, I'm a bit old school. I do like a conversation, um, you know. But but I'm happy with email or WhatsApp as well. It's never, you know, I understand the the new modern world we we live in. But um, yeah, and, and also I, I I do like meeting people and and going to see people and understanding their needs and requirements. You know, sometimes it's better to. To, to have a lot of these meetings face to face than sort of over email. So, you know, I think 
majority of our customers that we're working with, we've all been to see them. We, we, you know, just feel it's the right way to build a relationship, you know, mm-hmm. and, and get to know them better as well. So, um, other than just, just over email or, or telephone calls. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that, those are the best places. So we are on Instagram as well. I'm, I'm, I mean, we, we've got a, someone who, who helps us with all of that because I'm not too savvy on the social media side. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, we do have someone helping us with, um, with the, all the social media side of the business. Okay. I will also add that contact information in the description of this video for those of you who just want to click through. So, Emil, thank you so much for chatting with me today. That was a very Thanks. insightful conversation. Uh, and Thanks. I wish you all the best with your new business. Thanks very much, Mel, and thanks for, for um, reaching out. It's an absolute pleasure.